Indonesian children are threatened by an unseen monsters that they encounter every day in their second home school. And this unseen monster hides in their learning materials that they used to learn every day at school, which is whiteboard markers. Dear honorable judges and fellow young researchers, we are Aishalina Askar Ahmadi and Zahagina Fastawa from SMA Ulan Rouge. And in this opportunity, we're going to present our research for Indonesian Science Project Olympiad 2025 competition. Whiteboard workers are probably used in educational institutions. In 2024, Indonesia had approximately 438,784 schools, with 75% of them using whiteboards as their primary teaching tool. This is too high in consumption, with each school using an estimated 250 to 500 milliliters of ink per month. However, commercial marker ink contains volatile organic chemicals, VOCs, such as the solvent, which is xylene. And this xylene compound can pose environmental and health risks, including respiratory issues, neurological damage, and even organ disorders. Exposure to xylene through inhalation, skin contact, or ingestion can cause both short and long term health. Given this risk, there is an increasing need to find a programmable alternative to synthetic marketing. Magazine peels, often discarded as waste, contain anthocyanin pigments that offer a strong red color, making them a viable alternative for ink production. Previous studies have explored many natural resources such as palm oil. Utilizing magazine peels as a pigment source serves an opportunity for sustainable ink production, reducing environmental impact while also promoting eco-friendly alternatives in education. This research explores the characteristics and formulation of magazine peel-based ink as a safer, more sustainable alternative to commercial marker inks. And we are proud to present our research, Tango, as an alternative to whiteboard marker ink made from mangosteen fruit peel extract or Garcinia mangostana leaf. The objectives for this research are 1. To know the characteristics of marker ink that is made from mangosteen peels extract and 2. To know the optimal dosage of scented gum binders and also the sample of the pigment from the mangosteen peel extract to achieve the SNI compliant viscosity and density for marker ink. This research was done at the integrated laboratory of Sublas Mar University Jabra Surakarta from January 2025 until February 2025. The method that is used in this research is secondary analysis with quantitative and qualitative approach. This research uses one control variation and two sample to binder variation. Here are the tools and materials that were used in this research. Dried mangosteen peels should be blended and filtered using mesh AD until it turns into a white powder. The fine mangosteen peels powder will go through extraction by maceration method. The powder will be soaked in 50% methanol and 1% citric acid solution. Next, the pigment that is extracted will be filtered using a coffee filter before it undergoes evaporation. The pigment is evaporated by using a rotary evaporator under 50 degrees Celsius to reduce its methanol content. After being evaporated, pure anthocyanin pigment is obtained and the pigment undergoes formulation to turn the pigment into whiteboard marker ink. The ink is formulated by mixing the pigment with 99.5% of ethanol and scented gum using a magnetic stirrer. The density test, after 3 repetitions of test, sample A2 is the sample with the lowest density with 0.89 grams per centimeter cube as its density. Turns out to be the best sample that meets the SNE standard of whiteboard marker ink, which is 0.9 until 1 grams per centimeter cube. 
In viscosity tests, it's known that sample A2 is the best sample with 2.15 centipoise as its viscosity. After three repetitions, that meets the SNE standard of whiteboard marker ink, which is 1.12 centipoise. In organoleptic tests towards 20 teachers in the Sargan region, it is known that the lower the concentration of binder in the ink, their likability rate will be higher. Meanwhile, the higher the binder concentration, the likability rate will be lower compared to the other thicker ink that are tested. From all of the tests that are done, sample A2 is the best sample that meets the SNE for whiteboard markers with 0.89 gram per cubic centimeter as the density and 2.15 centipose as the viscosity of the sample. Meanwhile, A0 is the best sample according to the correspondence in the organoleptic test with an average score of 3.64. The conclusions are 1. Tickle ink has a distinctive aroma that is not pungent, dark red in color, and easy to erase like semi permanent ink, where the ink can be easily erased after application using a wet wipe. Density and viscosity vary from 0.89 gram cubic centimeter to 1.476 gram cubic centimeter and 2.5. 1.5 centipoise to 3.754 centipoise. Second, the sample variation and scented gum as the binder with viscosity and density that best complies with S and E in quality parameters is variation A2 with the ratio of extract to scented gum is 515 to 1 with a viscosity of 2.15 centipoise and a density of 0.89 gram cubic centimeter. These are the references that we used in this research. Thank you for your attention throughout this whole video and see you next time in our next research.